RU Heavy Bombers are off to a blazing start in our second game on this Friday. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Anton Rojas together with Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio. And of course, at court side, we've got Arla de Jesus and Stephanie Benito reporting for San Sebastian and JRU respectively. De Leon to Una. So the top scorers of San Sebastian not on the floor to start the period. Wow, it's... Things have changed for the Golden Stags here in the second round. Miranda. Oh, look at him. He have rolled to the basket. So mabit nga lang. Good hard roll to the basket by Josh Kia. Moving off ball because he was the guy who set the speed. Ganun ka importante yun, Antoine. Kasi if you're, if you're like me, I'm not really a skilled, an offensive player. I can only speak through experience. Nakakakuha ka lang na libre is if you set good screens, you roll hard, and you crash the boards. And I saw a lot of those plays in the last game against uh -huh. LPU. Totoo kasi, alam mo, especially against a team that loves to switch on everything. Four guys, same size. Even si Shanoda nagsuswitch sila. So, importante ang mga slips, quick, quick seal, go screens. Yan yung uh, ano eh, switch counters kung tatawagin ng mga coaches. So, your percentages go up if you force the defense to move and move para makakuha ka ng mga open shots. Una, whoa, a step back for James Una. Players going out of the box today. Oh, pangatlong sorry miss na ni Mark De Leon yun. It was right there for him. Growing pains for the freshman. Gil De Los Santos. A masterful first quarter for him. Returns to the game along with his backcourt mate, Sean Argente. Argente. Fakes. Puts it off the glass and in. Sean Argente, great control on that shot. Let's get an update on the JRU side with Stephanie Benito. During the first round, uh, team captain Ray De La Rosa is aiming to make amends for the times he couldn't stand by his team. And since he's officially back after a long break, Ray told me that we can expect his full-on presence inside the court. Naramdam, naramdam naman natin. First half pa lang. Thankful nga rin itong si Coach Louis Gonzalez that his team captain is finally back and is showing an impressive comeback. Dahil according to Coach, si Ray daw ang maasahan during crucial moments. Para naman sa quarter na ito, paalala lang ni Coach Louis sa team, eh huwag magmadali at paikuti ng bola dahil their reckless shots are giving points to their opponent. Ngata na daw nila ang kanilang labang. Kumunas na ngayon sa panig ng Bombers. Parik na sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Stephanie. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just good to know that Rai is back to his old oh, pero, form. Pero good yung galaw ni Sidney Mosqueda. Magic shot. <laughs> Niyo, yun yung niyoyo. Sabay finger roll. Pero ang ganda rin yung pagkaka-execute ng elevator screen. Pakikita mo dito yung dalawang big guys. That elevator screen opened up that close out. And foot speed, yo-yo na tira para dito kay Sidney Mosqueda. And the JRU students loving that move by oh. Sidney Mosqueda. Paulit mo sa kanya, mahihiraman siyang ulitin yun, partner. <laughs> oh, De Los Santos. Galing na mag-change ng speed si JL. Ang laki ng improvement niya. Kasi hanggang last season, pagka nakakinda, kinda lang siya. Ngayon, nag-change siya ng gears. Kaya lang, nahulihan ni James first. Una. Look at the speed! James Una! Iwan si De Los Santos. Naka... Una ng mga isang arm length eh. Arenal, wild shot. But 
he will head to the line for two after drawing that foul. But look at this right here. James Una looking like The Rock before he was called Dwayne Johnson. Look at those sideburns and look at those strides. Look at the finish. The Brahma Bull on the break. Mas kamukha ni Dilo Brown eh. Nung puminish eh. Alam mo ha, WWF din tayo eh. Punta mo na nga natin si Arlap De Jesus. Arlap. O nang hinayang talaga kami kasi kami na yung lamang. Ayan ang sinabi ni Raymort Escobedo. Ang isa sa mga talaga nagpapakitang gila sa Golden Stags. Kaya naman ngayon talagang babawi raw sila. Ipapakita nila kung sino sila. Kasi kaya, kaya naman daw nila manalo at pakipagsabayan. Ang kwento rin ni Raymort sa akin na players daw siyang nasa TV. Kaya ngayon na binigyan na raw siya ng pagkakataon ng San Sebastian. Hindi nga raw niya ito sasayaan. At sumibigay niya raw yung galing niya sa paglalaro. Kaya raw nakikiling daw siya mga coaches at sa mga veterano nakakasama niya. At ano Coach Hammer? Maraming salamat, our love. Escobedo, part of that line of explosive guards. We go back. RK Lagan. Then of course, Paeng Are. Escobido, next in line, Ichi Altamirano. Although Ichi was was a lot bigger than the guards that you know we would categorize the likes of Are. Oh, dahil pantato. Asa pag tinamaan, parang nabanggan ng truck. Eh. Nabibenta yung <laughs> nabibenta yung mga tao. But uh, I mean, they miss Ichi again, uh, an offensive option. But they also miss the playmaking ni Yambing. Uh -huh. as, a, uh, as a tall shooter that yes. can rebound. Aking bagay eh. Pero ganun talaga ang college basketball. Mga gumagraduate, nagmo-move on to the pro leagues. Some of them go to the regional basketball circuit. But uh, that, that's what happens. Players graduate. In and out on that shot. Paeng Are hasn't been himself today. Jesse Somoda looking on. As we mentioned earlier, he was the top scorer in the first round meeting for San Sebastian. A 72-59 win for the Golden Stag. So, Jay, are you flipping the script today? Medina, binigay dito kay Giyab. Giyab hand off to De Los Santos. Cross-court pass. Medina. Wild shot. Giam, wow! Giam just creating space. Yun yung darak. Solid lang. Sean Connery na darak, ha? Yung kulungan. Steady ka lang doon. Yun yung solid, eh. Nothing fancy with the way that he plays. Gets offensive rebounds at hard screens. Being the fulcrum of the offense, sa kanya minsan umiikot yung offense pag nasa poste siya. Uy, Pajolix. San Sebastian at this point just looks lost. JRU establishing a 14-point advantage here in the second quarter. Fresh from the salon with that Mary Jane Watson hair. Oh. <laughs> Back to the ball game. <laughs> you really go silent every time I talk about hair. It's a very sensitive subject. Kami lang ni Papa Bear yung ma. Kami ni Papa Bear ang ano. Ang magkakasundo. My apologies. My apologies. Hindi <laughs> naman. 
you, kailangan ilagay mo yung, ano, yung uh, qualifier, female hair. Yeah. I am. <laughs> Jonathan Medina was the hero in that double overtime win against LBU in the first round. Scored another crucial basket, actually, against LBU in the second round overtime. He's a piece of third corner jumper for JL De Los Santos. He's making things look easy. Parang hindi nga pinapawisan si JL. Kumbaga, kuha na niya yung rhythm niya. In the NCA, he's able to initiate the offense. He sees the floor better. Mas maganda na yung basa niya ngayon. Hindi na siya yung parang nagmamadali. First yeah. quarter pa lang, gusto na niyang manalo. Ngayon, alam na niya kailan siya didiin, kailan siya magme-menor. Maturity. Oo, oh, ganun talaga eh. Yung, uh, yung sinasabi mo na first quarter, gust gusto na manalo, that was the season 97, oh. JL. Although we, we saw the, the promise. Because even then, we could see the assists, oh. the rebounds, and the points. Ah, so, hindi sila makashoot nun eh. 28% lang yata yung, three, yung field goals nila the whole season. That was the green light Jason Celis oh. season. Hindi mo naman makasisi. Wala namang ibang titira. De Los Santos. Oh, wow! Sayang, di lang na-finish ni Medina. Eyes at the back of his head. Jail De Los Santos. Would have been a highlight. Uh -huh. Oh! Ganda ng pasa. Paul counted pa. Knockout. That was the slowest knockout pass I've ever seen. But somehow, hindi na, hindi na ramdaman ni Bobby ko. Hindi mga pasang pang panalay. Ang layo ng pinanggalingan. Oh. Parang nag-slow mo eh, nung nasa era yung oh, bola. And uh, at, the, at, at your screen screen na Coach John Calios, we mentioned Coach uh, Speedy Mike Gonzalez, point guard of the San Sebastian Golden Sags. And the early, late 90s, early 2000s, won championships there with Tila Pep Moore, Nico Uy, uh, Chris Baluyot. And my coach in San Vera is also part of their staff, si Coach Bonnie Garcia, who has been a long and well-traveled coach now, lending his wisdom. Dito sa kopunan ng San Sebastian. Every time you mentioned Nico Oy, I remember the long socks. In the headband? Yes, with the red trim. Oh, hirap. Alam mo, man, inabu di ko na sila inabutan, but I was able to watch some of their games. Nico Oy, Chris Baluyot, Red Vicente, those guys. Leo na Horda. Ako sa mga magazine ko na lang sila nababasa. Chop, eh. chop, yes. chop. Yeah, chop. Those were the days, my oh, friend. Oh, may buhok pa ako nun. No, maaaraw. <laughs> <laughs> eh, magagabi na. 14-point <laughs> lead for the Heavy Bombers. Sumoda. Kalahat. Are. Ngayon, di mo na kailangan ng magazine eh. Social media na lahat eh. Saan mo yung activation natin before the season? Ooh! Binama sa ilalim. Buhat! Carving out space. Like a butcher in the meat shop. Robel Kalahat. Argente. Oh, Pinoy step by Sean Argente. Palit mong bilya pa yung tira. Ganda ng pekos. Sumoda asking for it. But the defense collapses. Kalahat. Kalahat getting into his bag. Retreats. Jesse. by Vincer Mento. Ah! Bihit lang sa ilalim. Konting bangka. Tama yung serve mo eh. Enjoy his step. Kontuwa na naman yung airpads ni Sean. Ano? Mga biro ako din sa si Sean eh. Nung nakakausap ko prior to the game. Yeah. Lagi siya niloloko ng tatay niya. Pumasa ka lang sa eskwela, basta sumut ka pagka-game. Been one of the fun guys. One of the mga isa sa mga Masarap ka kwentuhan dito sa squad ng JR. Lesoyo. Kalahat. Kalahat. Medyo nabitawan ang buwan na pero mananatili sa San Sebastian. We 
have a timeout, JRU with a 14 point advantage. Yampong Campo ni Coach Louis Gonzalez and his JRU Heavy Bombers. So, JRU looking for redemption today after LPU got their redemption against them. Next man up, ganyan lang naman yan. Wala ka Marwin Genisio, kung sinong nakabihis, ready to play. Dapat ganyan lang naman yan eh. Two minutes and 34 seconds remaining here in the first half. By the way, stay tuned for our edition of Bolahan featuring Benji and Andre Paras. Sa sila pupunta? Sa Baste. Uy, Baste. Bolahan sa Baste. Napabisita kaya sila dun sa maraming kahinan sa may gilid ng Basilica. Ano naman ako yung mga tropa ko, mga taga dun eh. Nung naglalaro kami, sila Jim Piray, si Francis Delgado, Papa Jim, mga barkado. <laughs> naglalaro pa kami. Ang naalala ko lang dun, yung ano eh, tuwing aakit ako sa gym, minsan di ako nag-elevator, nakakapagod. Oh. Naalala ko nung nirecruit ako ni, <laughs> nirecruit ako ni Coach Turo, punta ako ng unang practice. Bisita ako. Paakit pa lang, pagod na ako eh. Pagod pa na dito. Si Pemur pa yung bantay mo. <laughs> And of course, you can hear the LRT from where the players practice. Cruz. The fields. Sumoda gets the rebound. Are. Right in the heart of Recto eh, di ba? Oh. And right at the heart of the JRU defense, Romel Kalahat goes. And Medina called for a foul. Ito yung kagandahan nito eh, dito sa mga players ng San Sebastian. Ever since dumating sila Coach Egay, yung mga players na to, they're not as talented as RK and Alin. Pero pag naglaro, madiin. Madiin talaga. So, it reflects eh. Pag umaatake sila, pag may sumabay, ididiin pa lalo nila. Tatawagan na tatawagan ng mga referees. Kasi yun yung nagiging, uh, paano ko ba ito sasabihin? Yun na yung difference between the generation na inabuta natin sa mga mas batang generation. Pag nakakaramdam ngayon ng contact yung mga bata, gusto nilang isell yung call. Di ba? Medyo aartehan nila ng konti, papakita nila ng may contact. The, our uh, mga kuya natin, during the times of Kila Papa Bear, pag nakaramdam ng pain, mas didiinan pa nila yung atake. Kaya nakakakuha sila ng foul. Gamesmanship was different in those days. De Los Santos. Kasi ito, naalala ko yung mga kwento ni Coach Rodney. Kasi madalas kasama ko nun, eh, nung nagko-cover kami na regional basketball ni Coach Rodney. Pag umaatake daw siya sa NC, apat yung hahampas, isa lang yung natatawagan. Eh. So anong kailangan mo gawin? Kailangan mas diinan mo pa pag umatake ka. De La Rosa. There you go, 3 3 pointer. Third triple of the game. Ryan De La Rosa on target. Walang kupas-kupas uh, yung bitaw. Ni Ryan De La Rosa. Pero good feel by Jesse Somoda using that size. Rim run. Feel sa ilalim. Turn and shoot finish para kay Jesse. If there's one guy who you could say has a clear advantage, it's Somoda with that size. Desoyo stops on a dime. Are. Oh, San Sebastian can't save it. Green light. Walang tao. That's what they are looking for. After a forward pass, rhythm jumper. Di nga lang pinalat si Desoyo na maishin si Bola. Kasama ko dito si Alex sa masterclass natin. Yeah. I think it was in... Uh, if hindi ako nagkakamali, si Boo. Kasama ko to si Alex and... Uh, 
was a fun hang. We are really talking about the struggle of the preparation and such and such. He was echoing the sentiments then Coach John Callion na medyo late sila nakapagsimula. Maraming uh, nag-move on. So, it's been a testy season to say the least para dito sa Baste. January daw pumasok si Coach John Callios sa San Sebastian. But I think the biggest challenge for him is that after five years, he's back to coaching in the collegiate level. Marami rin inikutan si Coach John dahil before he was with MBBL, Regional Basketball. For four years. Four years since the league was inaugurated. Kaya mas sanay siya na pumipick up ng mga players na pro na talaga. Ito kailangan i-develop mo yung mga players. He's been coaching for 17 years. He started at the age of 23 sa 10 under sa St. Vincent sa West Avenue, oh. UC. Doon yan, kapitbahay namin. Nakakalaban ko sila noon nila Coach Vince. De Los Santos, elevator. elevator. And De La Rosa unable to knock him down. We were just talking about elevators a while ago. Oh. Elevators sa San Sebastian. Pero yan yung bakit tinamaan ka masakit. Yung mga elevator speed na yan. So Paeng Are will head to the line for two. Alala ko si Patucci pala, nakasabay ko rin nag-workout. <laughs> no? Ayos yun eh. You know, Andre and I actually saw him, uh, Abdel, at the uh, FIBA World Cup. It's good to see that he's still here and, you know, enjoying basketball, connecting with the community still. Tapos din ang team nila na yun, no? Dalawa sila eh. Oh, Abdul Razak. Abdul Razak, Abdul Wahab. Uh -huh. Then Paolo Pontejas, of course, Tay Tay Teodoro. That squad was a stack squad. Then. Para ito na yung next na malakas talaga na team for JRU, but these guys are saved for JL. These guys are a bunch of uh, nondescript players that developed talaga under that JRU system. I mean, I remember when when I first started covering the NCAA, and lakas din ang team ng JRU. Ina yun, Marvin Hayes, John Wilson, James Sena, Mark Agoko, Bad Boy, MVP, and and up to this day, still, still balling. Yep. Hindi siya ni. Kaya daw number eight si John is you know the infinity sign. Oh. It just goes on and on and on. Kayasha number eight. De Los Santos. Sila yung badge ko eh. Na may JRU with Coach Ariel Van Gorda. Oh. Good pass. Pabi ko. Hindi si JL sa mga ganong klaseng pasa. Oh, hockey assist sa corner. Patalikot. At the half hour score, 40 for JRU, 29 for San Sebastian.